Hey peeps! So today you're in for a treat. We are filming a master makeup class today. So we have one of my makeup artists coming in from Houston, Texas. Of course, Mr. Fabulous is also a makeup artist. Here's, he's going to be here not only filming but helping with the makeup class. And then we have a special guest, Cole Kerrigan, who is in from Dallas, Texas. You guys all know him. He's phenomenal. He's here, he's gonna be the special guest appearance for the girls. And so, it's gonna be kind of behind the scenes, showing you what the master class was all about, how much fun we had. I have a clean face to start with. Don't mind the red chest. I know the haters are gonna go, oh my God, look at all the sun damage. I had a procedure done on my chest. It's called photofacial or something. So it's extra red and brown and nasty today because apparently this photofacial helps get rid of sun damage and has all these brown freckles that I have fall off. So this is gonna get uglier before it gets better. So hopefully the next time I film and you see my chest, it's gonna be extremely pretty and younger looking and moister looking and fabulous. So anyways, I hope you guys have fun today with this video. We're gonna have a lot of fun. A lot of ladies coming. They all paid good money to come to this class. They're going to be treated very well. And also Gerard Cosmetics is donating all the goodie bags for the ladies that paid for this event today. So follow us along today, have some fun with us, and let's get busy. How's it looking? So glam. <laughs> Mr. Fab's eye makeup is this. Ooh. <laughs> Never went to bed. Yeah. My makeup is like cemented onto my face. And I always tell her, no. <laughs> no, no. Well, no. you know those crazy nights where you just can't get the makeup off. <laughs> You know, you just barely get home and your husband wants to do the thing and then you then yeah, you're, you know, leave her, then, then you're just home, then you're she just wakes out. up on live or a story on Instagram and I'm like, that's the same makeup I just did. <laughs> <laughs> so literally, like I don't condone going to bed with your makeup on, but we all have those instances where it happens. Mm -hmm. But literally, if I don't use setting spray. Halfway through my day, half of my makeup can be off. Yeah. So I use a setting powder, and then I use a setting spray, and I'm out the door. Mm -hmm. And literally, my makeup will go from morning until midnight, two, three in the morning, yeah. whatever, I or the next day when I wake up. Because otherwise, it's just right, right. But but I live. I mean, I probably have 25 bottles of different setting sprays. Yes. Because I, I can't live with because no, because not only after like yeah. after I put my makeup on, I use my setting powder. Yeah to just set everything, but then I put the setting spray on, it not only sets my makeup, but it almost hydrates my skin again. Yeah. So my skin doesn't look like, because I think sometimes when you're using all these powders and everything, it's you're, casket ready. You're, you're, <laughs> but, but your skin can start to look a little crepey and, and dry. And dry. Yeah. So when you're using your setting sprays, and I've got some by Urban Decay that are mm -hmm. B6 and Moisture, they literally, uh, after I, and you'll see when she sets me, like yeah. I'm, like soaked, I've got the mac at home. but it's, I've it, but I, my skin feels so much yeah. better actually. Like after I've used the setting spray, it just feels more moisturized. It's not a revitalizer. Mm -hmm. Are we on lashes right now? Yes. Okay. We're getting into lashes. <laughs> Everyone that knows how to place their lashes on, let's go ahead and do that step. And y'all can ask Cole who his favorite lash is. Lily Lashes, use my code Cole for 10% off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Love it. What lashes are you using? These are artistry. They sound them too. Those are pretty. They're yeah. like so wispy. Fluffy. Yeah, I love, I love like wispy ones. And they're so hard to find. Yeah. I get so many companies sending them. So first I like to go with Mario. Like this. Like a sweeping spread? Do we have more? Or you can go like this. Oh, are you tell me what to do an X? Yeah, like three sprays one way, three sprays the other way. 
If your face isn't tripping, you're not doing it right, darling. Oh, you're already worse. But you should feel your skin automatically feel like it's moisturized. Now this is the Morphe continuous setting. Here you go. <laughs> so here's the finished look. Body. This is the finished look. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Oh, Amazon. You don't follow Cole Kerrigan, you need to follow him. He's on YouTube also. He's also on Instagram. Yes, I am. Twitter, yeah, everywhere. Everything. everything. All over the map. He's so pretty. Oh, you are pretty. <laughs> She's like my mom. She can be my mom, right? Yeah. You look her later. Yes. <laughs> yes, God. Yes. So we have all kinds of food that she's getting ready to lay out. Fill up your champagne some more, and then we're, after a short, quick bite, we'll head to the club. Yay! So everywhere I've ever lived, I've always had pretty closets. It didn't matter how big or small they were, I always had pretty closets. And invariably, every time I would have an event, a charity event, or any kind of an event at my house, the girls always know I had pretty closets, so they'd grab their glass of champagne and then say, oh my God, can we go see the closet? Mm -hmm. So we'd end up sitting on the floor in the closet, drinking our champagne, just admiring all the pretty stuff. So when I did this house, I said, why not build the closet so big that I can actually hold the events in the closet? Cause that's where the women want to be. Yeah. So that was the whole purpose of the closet was no different than the man that has the, the, the garage that holds 37 cars because mm -hmm. he has a car collection. Well, I wanted a closet big enough to hold my collections and just have it be a venue for the events. And so I wanted to, it to be the closet that continually gives back. Yep. Mm -hmm. So nice. that was the whole reason for it. And then every three months I try to go through my closet and clean it out periodically and we donate things to different charities so that they can auction things off and raise even more monies. And so that was the whole purpose of the closet. Very wow. kind. Yeah. So is this like an attachment or this is just part of the house? Like it no, so when house. I bought this house, it was very ugly. It was very traditional looking. It was a pink brick home. There was literally no landscaping and the inside was very, just imagine your grandma's house, like very old and just very traditional. Nothing wrong with that, because it was a preacher's house, but it just was not me. And so I envisioned it when I walked in and thought, oh my God, I love the size of it, but I don't like the inside of it. So I literally gutted it the down house. the whole house. Wow. There's nothing here that's original. Wow. Nothing, nothing. The banister, well, the, the, the stairway when you come in the front door mm -hmm. was always there, but it wasn't that color and it wasn't silver leafed and yeah, you know, but otherwise everything else in the house is different. The floors are different, walls are different. So, it's just, it's so this, brand new. so downstairs, that area was a little tiny closet and a big office for her. This staircase never existed. This was a laundry room, another bathroom, a playroom, a bedroom, and another bathroom. That was attic. Oh, wow. So when I came in, I knew I couldn't live in that little tiny closet. So I said, what's above us? So we came up and then I said, well, depending on how the beams run, can we break through the floor and create a second story closet? So he evaluated everything. He's like, yeah. And I said, okay, well now I want a floating staircase. And he goes, you don't put floating staircases in closets. Those only go at the front of the house when you go in. And I'm like, I want one in my closet. <laughs> he said, they don't go in closets. I'm like, you're putting one in my closet. <laughs> I love it. So this was the first floating staircase he'd ever done in a house for a closet. And then once we got here, I said, what's up there? <laughs> a hole through the wall. <laughs> and my husband has learned over the years that I don't know what a budget means. Like yeah, he literally, yeah. literally when we bought this house, he gave me a half a million dollars to do the whole remodel. Oh. 
Oh. I spent a half million just on yeah. the cloud. <laughs> <laughs> and he kept going, you're a little over budget. And I'm like, we had a budget? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, like, my husband is the coolest man on the face of this earth. Oh, because yeah, yeah, yeah. literally, I just tell him all the time, I love you so much because you just let me be me. And he's like, yes. well, who's going to stop you? Exactly. Yes. That's the right man. He knows you. He mm. totally figured yeah. you out. He's like just this. awesome. Yeah. I like you guys. Like yesterday, we were filming into the wee hours of the morning with Cole. Mm -hmm. He just was down there watching his oh, yeah. sports and mm -hmm. doing his thing. He's like, are you done filming? He understand you, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Today, I'm like, I'm having a party with the girls. Okay. <laughs> Last yeah. week, you know, two weeks ago when I flew to LA, I said, I got to fly to LA tomorrow. And he's like, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 It's very cool. No, I just, yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. No, I waited my whole life for that man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyways, that's kind of the story behind the closet. What's your favorite floor? Do you have one? Down there. Down there? Yeah. I mean, like, this is, to me, this is, the, like, the guts of the closet, kind of like a kitchen and family room or the guts of the house, in a normal house, because that's where, like, everybody gathers. And so this is, like, to me, this floor is, like, my main floor. Like, I used to, before I built the glam room downstairs, which you'll see, there used to be a glam room over here. Mm -hmm. So I have a secret door that I would let my hair and makeup girls in. They'd come off the elevator, they'd come in through the secret door. We would do hair and makeup over here. So I had a glam area over here. So this, I would sit here, do glam, my girlfriends would be here drinking champagne, we'd be watching TV, we'd look at clothes. So like this was like the, the family room kitchen area of the house. But then when I moved my glam room to the other side of the house and created its own space, this is just another area because we do two things also in the closet. We film conversations in the closet TV show in here. And we film conversations in the closet radio show in here. Oh. So sometimes we're behind the bar filming and sometimes we're over here filming. Right, perfect. Yeah. It's like better than the studio. Yeah. My experience here has honestly been fabulous. Like, Teresa has been so welcoming, so kind to all of us. Cole was great. Mr. Fucking Fabulous. Are you joking? <laughs> Thank you. It was just amazing. And her makeup artist, it was just beautiful. I can definitely say I can take several things away from this experience and use it in my normal everyday makeup life. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Nindali. Um, thank you so much, Teresa, for opening your house and inviting us to be part of your world and for at least a few hours. I have learned so much, especially what brush to use for what <laughs> when it comes to eye makeup. That's something that's always been very overwhelming for me. And uh, this experience has been amazing. Meeting the people that surround uh, Teresa, Mr. Fabulous, gosh, you are <laughs> something you. else. It's like, thank you so much. It's like so much, everybody's so humble, so nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I'm Gwen, and I'm here at Teresa Romer's house, and this day was just awesome. You know, you watch her videos, and to really get to meet her, and Mr. Fabulous, and Cole, and learn about the makeup, uh, you know, I thought I was blending enough, but I needed to blend more, blend more. But again, with Teresa and her whole crew of people, it was just really nice to meet people and some of the other fans that came here because it truly is a family. It's truly a group and very inspirational for me. It just enjoyed it so much. Thanks. Hi, my name is Leander Jean, and I would like to say thank you to Teresa, to Mr. Fabulous for welcoming all of us into your home. And the house is for sale, seven point million dollars. And also, if you need a realtor, contact me. Hey, I'm Sherry Reed, and I had a wonderful time meeting Teresa and all her wonderful friends and the people that was here. And I look forward to teaming up with you guys on that candle line. Yes, Thank you. love it. Can we get into this outfit really quick, though? Oh, like, you were so stylish course. today, both of you guys. Yeah, so my we're, face. We gotta have the red bottoms. Uh, love. The red shoes. YSL's new yellow. Love it, love it, love it.